Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be setting up a simple automation for my fish tank. We're going to be using Asana 4 Channel Pro for the lights, pump, and filters. We will also be using Asana TH16 to activate a heater for when the water temperature is too low. We need to get these devices in Home Assistant. Check out my earlier video to do so. After you add the devices to the Ewe Link app from your main account and share it to the account you created for Home Assistant, we need to restart the server for the devices to show up. You are going to need to take note what you have plugged in in each switch. For example, I have lights plugged in on switch 1 and the filter plugged in on switch 2. Now we are going to be doing a simple automation to turn the lights on and off at a certain time. To do this, you will need an add-on called Node Red. Let's get started. Navigate to the sidebar and click on the Supervisor tab. Then add on Store. Scroll down until you see Node Red and click Install. Click Configuration, fill in a secret, a username, and a password. Also, change SSL to false. Click Save. Now click the Info tab and then Start. To have Node Red show on the side, click the option Show in Sidebar. Now click on Log to make sure no errors show up. Now that Node Red is installed, let's start configuring a simple automation. Click on Node Red in the sidebar. In Node Red, scroll until you find the big timer and drag it over. Double click and let's make some adjustments. Add the time you want the light to come on and off. You need to insert your latitude and longitude settings for your area. In Topic Message, type My Timer and click Done. Now look for the switch option and drag it over. Double click the switch option and then type in a name. In the first box, type on, then click the add button and type off, and click done. Now look for the call service and drag it over. Give it a name. For the domain, look for switch. For service, put toggle on. For entity ID, this is the sound off switch that the light is connected to. Click done. Add another call service. Give it a name. For the domain, search for switch. For service, put toggle off. And for identity ID, this is a sound off switch that the light is connected to. Now connect everything and click deploy. Now that we have done our automation for the lights, the lights will be turning on from dusk to dawn. Now we are going to set up another automation with the sun off TH16. This automation will allow us to keep the water at a steady temperature. Drag over the event state option. Give it a name. For the entity ID, add the sun off TH16 sensor. 
change the state to less than and add the temperature you want the heater to turn on at. Set the timer, click done. Next, add the call service and open it. Give it a name. For the domain, choose Home Assistant. For service, put Turn On. For entity, add the TH16 switch. Click Done. Add another call service and open it. Now give it a name. For the domain, choose Home Assistant. For service, click Turn Off. For entity ID, add TH16 switch. Now connect everything and click Deploy. And there you have it, your first automation using Node-RED and Home Assistant. But wait, there's more. How about we make it look nice in Home Assistant dashboard? Click Overview on the side tab and then the three dots on the right side. Choose Edit Dashboard, select Take Control. Click Add View at the top. Give it a title and a icon if you want. Click Save. Now click the Add Card button and choose Picture Glance Card. For the image path, you can find a picture on the internet and copy and paste the link. I will be inserting my settings, yours might be slightly different. Click Code Editor to add custom code. You can find all the MDI icons in the link in the description. And there you have it, our very first automation with a special dashboard look. 
please leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to leave some ideas in the comments so I can try them out.